Good morning, dear friends, brothers and sisters, greetings in Jesus' name. Welcome to this morning hour of meditation. And it is good to begin with God and listening to His voice. And so during these few minutes of meditating on God's word, I pray that the Holy Spirit will enlighten you, strengthen you and encourage you and uh, you begin the day with the new confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ. Today's meditation is based on the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 10. Let me read it for you what it says. Chapter 5 of Romans verse 10. It says, For if when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? And my friends, what I want to share with you is Christian life is a twofold life. Christian life is a twofold life. Many of us see only one facet of life. Jesus saves, for example, Jesus saves. Now, what do you understand by this phrase? Missing hell and getting into heaven. That is one facet. And the second facet is, this is, this, this missing hell and making uh, into heaven is only facet of what we see, being saved. Now, what does being saved really mean? In the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said, I have come that they might have life, that they might have it more abundantly. You may say it and make it very personal. Jesus came that I might have life and that I might have life more abundantly. There are two facets of our salvation. And that's what we see in this particular verse. In the one we have life. And in the other, we have more life or fullness of life, overflowing life or abundant life. These are the two facets of life. In the one, we have life. And in the other, we have life overflowing. But some have life and no more. They are uncomfortable and carnal. Such people have only uh, existence. They exist to perish. They have life, but do not enjoy the blessing. They are heaven bound, but not heaven happy here and now. For them, that heaven happiness and abundance of life and enjoyment are all in heaven after we get there. That is not the reason Jesus came. He came for something more. Jesus came not only that we might have life, but uh, the manner in which we have it. Many people have a life, but some people have it more abundantly. Now I ask you this question, which do you have? Do you have just a life? That is the first facet. But how about the other part? More abundant life, 
for which Jesus Christ came. And another fact that we must consider from this passage, Romans 5.10 is, reconciliation and a saving life. The first one we considered is life and life overflowing or abundant life. Now we have these two words, reconciliation and life, saving life. In the work of redemption, there are two works, the death of Christ and the resurrection of Christ. For a life of victory, both are to be taken. We cannot enjoy complete life and victory by accepting only one, the death of Christ. Because of the death of Christ, we have atonement. And it is through that atonement, we have reconciliation. But we need more than that. We need a new life, a new dynamic, in order to live this new life in Jesus Christ. What Jesus provides us in his death is one facet, one aspect of salvation. But then there is also resurrection, life, and it is through the resurrection we have this overflowing life flowing into us. What he provides in his life is another matter altogether. In his death we have reconciliation. In his life we have Christ himself coming and living in us. Hallelujah. We are saved from sin because of his death. And we are saved from self because of Christ living in us. We have reconciliation and we are on our way to heaven. That is one facet. We have victory now and thus we have heaven in us because of the presence of Christ within us now. Where Christ is, there is heaven. And so, we who are reconciled to God, we cannot be satisfied and enjoy the fullness of life that Christ brought through his death and resurrection. But then, we need to have the resurrection aspect as well. And we not only uh, to be reconciled, but then we also must live a victorious life. That now that victory is ours. And happened because heaven itself is within us. Because of the presence of Christ Jesus. What is true Christianity? True Christianity is explained by the Apostle Paul in Colossian letter, chapter 1, verse 27, where he says, To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of his grace. And uh, of riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And my friends, that is true Christianity. Christianity is not memorizing some creed and some tenets of faith and, and uh, rituals, participate in some rituals and all that. All that we can do, they are all external. But true Christianity 
is when Christ comes and lives within us. Christ in you, the hope of glory. And there is a third aspect. We are in Christ and Christ in us. In Philippians chapter 3 verse 9, I would like you to read after this meditation. Take down this. And then 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 13. This is one facet. We are in Christ. And then in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, where it says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ living in us. And then Colossians chapter 1 verse 27, we just quoted, Christ in us. So these are the two facets. We are in Christ, and then Christ is in us. Paradox. And these are the mysteries, but a marvelous and a miraculous relationship. We are in him for forgiveness, and he is in us for victory. That is marvelous and wonderful. Remember, we are in him for protection. And he is in us for heaven now and here. And that is what we need to display to the world. See, we all have expectation of getting into heaven and we are looking forward to reach heaven and then we think there God will work in us and we will become perfect and we shall be like him and then we shall be victorious. That is not my friend. Then we shall enjoy heaven. That is not my friends. We are to enjoy heaven here in this life now. And that's what happened when we are in Christ and Christ is in us. These are the two facets of life. You know, there is a reconciliation and saving life. And then there is, um, there is, uh, there is, there is, uh, I have come that they might life and then abundant life. You know, this is very beautiful. Life and abundant life, two facets. Then reconciliation and saving life. And then we have a marvelous, we are in Christ for protection and he is in us for heaven now and here. We are in him for salvation and he in us for satisfaction. This is a life and life more abundant. It is into this life you need to enter and begin to enjoy. You know, I I, I want you to understand these sentences very uh, clearly. Listen carefully. Don't be satisfied with only one aspect of life. There are two aspects. Christian life is a twofold life. And that is what I have been. Reconciliation by which we are reconciled to God. But then there is saving life. That is what the work of redemption includes. Two life. The death of Christ and the resurrection of Christ. Both are to be accepted and taken and enjoy the blessings from both. Then your Christian life is perfected. He wants us to enjoy heaven here and now because of the abundant life. Don't be satisfied with just life, but there is an abundant life that you can enter into. That's what God wants. May the Lord bless you 
as you continue to live for him and day by day you discover new ways that you become closer and intimate with the Lord. That's what God wants. Until you are there, when you see Jesus, you shall be like him. May the Lord bless you. And I pray that you will discover new ways of understanding God's plans for you. God bless you. This is a great day and enjoy this day.